Thank you, Zold, and uh, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. I was uh, with Pfizer in 11 and 12 conducting studies, and therefore I mentioned this here. The uh, Federal Joint Committee, the GBA, issues directives for the benefit catalog for more than 70 million insured persons and thus specifies which services in medical care are reimbursed by the statutory health insurance funds. In 2011, the GBA had to assess the benefit of collagenase in the treatment of Dupuytren's disease. Um, several studies had demonstrated that percutaneous needle fasciotomy compared to fasciectomy is equally effective in stages one and two, but not as invasive. Therefore, the GBA postulated PNF to be the appropriate option in Tubiana stages one and two. Although this concept is certainly an oversimplification, we use this classification in the questionnaire to find out about the treatment options offered by German hand surgeons. We sent emails three times within the first quarter of this year to 530 members of the German Society for Surgery of the Hand, inviting them to participate in our internet-based questionnaire. The response rate was 20.8%, with 9,761 treatments, representing 24.4% of the estimated 40,000 procedures being performed each year in Germany. In order to achieve a high response rate, we asked only very few and very simple questions. As I said before, we referred to Tubiana stages while asking for the favorite treatment option. As you can see here, 45 hand surgeons do not treat stage one patients at all. Remember what Zolt told us. And still nine surgeons stated that they would not treat in stage two yet. This, these results are also not surprising. Nearly all surgeons advocate open surgery for stage three, indicating the reliability of the study. Interestingly, in stage four, seven surgeons have treated options other than the ones proposed in this questionnaire, which we do not know, of course. What is the main criterion in your treatment decision? This was interesting to find out uh, about the motivations of these surgeons. And uh, while in stages one and two, the aspect low risk of complication has a certain importance, the strive for the best possible outcome is the most relevant criterion in stages three and four. This diagram illustrates that limited fasciectomy is the type of treatment that is recommended most frequently. The role of PNF is a lot less important even in stages one and two. This diagram is based on the same data, but helps to understand the predominant role of LF even better. Not all surgeons treat the same number of patients. This is the distribution of patient numbers ranging from two to 400 per surgeon and year. We have performed a second analysis of the data, increasing the influence of those surgeons performing more patients. This was done calculating a coefficient per case and year. The left bar, represents participating surgeons and their favorite options, regardless of how many patients they have. The other bar shows us the results after adjusting the influence of the individual surgeons, depending on the number of patients he treats. Obviously, there's no difference. Another aspect is that the patient numbers are not normally distributed. A fairly large number of surgeons treat about one patient per week, a small number of surgeons tells us that they have a lot more patients. We separated the surgeons into two groups to find out if there are different views depending on the number of cases treated. One group represents those 86 surgeons treating up to 100 patients per year. The other group consists of 24 surgeons performing more than 100 procedures. The number of patients in each group is quite similar. Surgeons with smaller patient numbers treat within the hospital to a higher degree. Surgeons treating a higher number of patients perform PNF in stage two cases more often. This indicates that these surgeons treat more early cases 
which would explain their higher amount of outpatients. 34 su surgeons stated that they perform PNF, representing 30.9% of all surgeons that responded. PNF is well accepted in stages one and two, but some perform needle fasciotomy also in stage four. It has been a long way since PNF was introduced in the 70s of the last century. In Germany, Albrecht Meinl was the first to popularize this method. All recent textbooks in German mention the PNF and agree that it is an appropriate way to treat this disease. It can be confirmed, therefore, that PNF has an increasing importance in the treatment options among German hand surgeons. Other than in the US and other countries, in Germany there is practically no potential for treating contractures with collagenase due to the decision of the GBA that treatment costs are not to be reimbursed by health insurance funds. Aristotle at the beautiful fountain in Nuremberg seems to ask us what treatment we suggest for his stage N Dupuytren disease. Maybe you want to visit him and tell him what you think. Thank you.